Well, as our business is a consumer focused, we regularly review home security cameras, video recorders and stuff. But for this time, we've picked an unusual thing. The entire topic is circling around a completely business solution. The Hikvision 2-in-1 thermal network camera that allows us to use a classical optical camera within an infrared sensor and then at any time switch to the thermal vision mode and also even combine these two modes in one picture. Daniel here, People Systems Store, breaking in. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. With no further introduction, the unboxing. So, the camera, the thing we are into here today. You see both modes, the optical and the thermal. What else really amazingly cool here, just look at how much wires it has here. The HX alarm ends. There we go. It also, this camera is both the analog and IP, so this is a cable for the analog video transmission. What else? The RS-455 alarm uh, input. What else? The audio in, the audio out, also the power cable unit and the, uh, well, regular LEN K5. This is amazing. And you know what else is really amazing about this one? They, the Hikvision put the original junction box, a metal anti-corrosion junction box in the packaging which is amazing because I mean this thing well regularly is being bite independently and this is amazing because you just take this uh, two gaskets one goes in here second goes in here then it goes in here well of course with the cables in this thing like yeah like here well you got this thing and then just attach it to the wall but before you do that, you take this drill template, you get off this sticker, you uh, stick it to the wall, like this, and then you take a drill and map out the position for the screws, which is amazing. Then you can take this off, but this is cool. We also got here the quick start guide. I wouldn't say it's quick because it's a <laughs> 35 pages, which is uh, amazing. And it's, and it's all English. Wow amazing amazing i wouldn't say it's quick and a quick user guide well again this thing is not a quick i think we're cd classical uh a plastic holders to well fix the alien cable and of course the screwdriver well to uh, uh change the camera's position change the camera's mode in here and in here a few duples and a screws well for this drill template and for your drill and we're ready about this one now let's get to the main part and now we're gonna do we're gonna activate this thing via the computer software called the cdp tool that allows us to search for devices uh in our subnet and then activate it and then uh get it into the ibms to configure this thing but before you begin get the uh CADP tool and the IVMS from the Hikvision official download pages, get it into your computer and then start it, sign in and just after that, follow my lead. I'll show you every single step to activate this thing and I'm going to show you a both images, the optical one, classical one that goes in a Full HD and the uh, thermal that goes in like a 320 by 160, I guess, small, but anyways, and I'm going to show you a few instances of how does this thing works and how does this thing looks. Now let's go to the computer. Right, now we're just gonna quickly run through of how to activate the camera, uh, our thermal camera, and of course, then configure it through the IVMS. So uh, two tools you need to begin with. The CDP tool, basically a tool to search a device within your subnet and the IVMS software. Both you can download from the Fusion do uh, official download pages and I left a link for you down below in the description for both on the official download pages. Now you see our camera is connected over the POE LEN K5 cable and now I'm gonna activate it. Check this box over here and create a password, anything that you want. I'm picking the standard one that we have inside of our company. 
of course enable the hit connect to then afterwards enable a smart video functions and now we are doing this and this again i'm doing the same passwords it's all right here and pressing the activate waiting a few seconds and activation succeeded now we're refreshing and seeing at uh, the camera status now is the active and i gotta tell you one more thing sometimes the camera just do doesn't want to be activated doesn't want to be added to the ivms what you do you go into your network settings properties uh in the, the internet protocol and change it to things i got in here because this is this address is the standard Hikvision uh, settings, standard Hikvision IP. So go in, save, and afterwards everything will be working. Till then, I'm going to the IVMS client, IVMS software. Uh, again, left a few links, left two links for you for downloading this because if you don't have you won't activate this one now i'm just gonna quickly run through the menu add the device to the ivms and set up a few basic functions and i'm gonna show you a few basics to begin with and of course the thermal module optical module and the most interesting feature of this camera the image in image and the image in overlay which is amazing and now i understand why this camera works so much and and come on we're so close there we go you can see our camera here uh press and holding and dragging it into here it will ask us to uh name it and modify so it will be the heck thermal camera not touching this not touching this username admin is default for you too and the password that you created when you were uh, signing in device. Adding. Now a little refresh, important succeeded. And now you can see the device serial, security, net status, everything is just amazing. Now, remote configuration. This is what we need. You in here, full screen. And there we go. First you gotta do, pick your time zone. Mine is GMT plus two and sync with the computer time and save afterwards. Here you got the DST, RS485, uh, about, time settings, and the basics, I wouldn't rather change anything in here. In the local, oh, it asks me to download a, an update, but no, thank you, not right now. Here you can, of course, adjust the uh, file, well, uh, folders where it will be saved snapshots, and of course, the other things. And there we can see, uh, and yeah, PowerPoint, rules, image. You can work with the rules. Uh, well, enable it in here then, and then save. Now, the system settings you've seen already. There's maintenance, you see, lock, system service, and VC or service type. So, of course, if you want to work with this, you turn it on. Next is the securities and a few services and a user management, of course. Now the network settings, TCP, DNS, PDOE, port, net, and everything so basic in here. And for here too, but I'm just showing you what inside of this menu. Email, platform access, HTTPS, and this is the hit button, uh, hit connect, QoS, and 902, and integration protocol. Next is the video and audio. So what I recommend, we got a two models, camera one, camera two. Camera two is the thermal module. So what I really recommend for everyone, uh, mainstream should be video and audio, resolution mm, maximum. Uh, and video and audio and H265. Uh, the plus is for the ones who don't want to use the smart function. And of course, same for the uh, video and audio, the same for the substream now the camera too uh, video stream video and audio and the mainstream video and audio h 165 and the same for the uh, substream and now we're saying this audio again yeah about the channel ROI and metadata now the image 
settings, what you was waiting for. So, hey Val, this is what we do here. This is our camera guy, and this is the camera number one. This is the camera number two. As you can see, the lens white is not that much, but this is great for this type of cameras. Anyways, what we got here, adjustments, of course, the picture, I'm leaving it uh, the basic metals. And what's really interesting in here is this thing. So if uh, something above this temperature, it will be red. So let's go for 23 and now you see the whole room and our camera guy. But if you go for 25, now you can see only the Valentine. But if the 27, you can see his posture and his stature. And now let's make this 50. I want to show you a few interesting things. And between, let it be a uh, 20, 23, yeah. 23 to say 6. Oh, 30, 6 minutes 30. Saving. And there we go. Oh, I want to make it a bit better. Oh, yeah. Everything between the 26 and 36 is the valid temperature. So it's lighting with uh, yellow. Everything above the 50 Celsius will be highlighted with the red. But if we go like 10, now you see everything gets yellow as the temperature is, well, is the uh, temperature. Now here's a few palettes that we have. Uh, black hot, this was the white hot, it's adjustable, others are not. Fusion, uh, Fusion 2, Iron Bowl, Spaya, well, a lot of, you see, a lot of. Well, the Fusion, video adjustments, of course, digital zoom, let it be like this, yeah, you got this thing. And the other, and we got it here. Now, what I want to show you next, OSD settings. It's about this line over here. So if I'll turn it on, you see, it just disappears. This is how does it works. Uh, next is the privacy mask, of course, if you're enabling it. Uh, and the picture overlay, the thing we're into about this time. Uh, you just upload this picture and enable picture overlay. This is the DPS. Uh, the uh, well, fixing the uh, bad pixels and this is the most amazing thing here picture in picture so we're turning the overlap mode and now in here you will see yeah both thermal both normal this is amazing but if we switch this is what happens go to details overlay going for zero and zero and now you see both but if you go like 50 and 50 so it's the more details this is just amazing and of course the VSA rules as you can well, create here next is the event clearing and drawing picking the events like motion detection uh, dynamic analysis then arm this we can just draw a line so we, can, we just then pass it select and apply to everyone and of course, upload the FTTP. Video tampering we got in here, can draw an area here, our uh, arm schedule and other things. And also pick a camera. Alarm inputs, of course, drawing the lines here, select all, and that's what happens. And alarm outputs, of course, the same with the schedule. And we can make a few exceptions in here. There's our smart effects like audio loss, sudden increase of sound, interesting adjustments, configuration, and a decrease of the sound density detection. So yeah, this is awesome to have the audio detection features in here. Of course, again, we can make a schedule, na, 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 na. deleting, drawing, you should know what it means. And of course, a notified surveillance sensor. Dynamic fire source detection, of course, we can turn it on here. And fire source resident shield. I mean, if you know something will be really warm, you just draw an area in here where you know it will be warm and uh, enable and you get saved. So it will, so you won't be notified if something warm happens here, but will be notified if something warm happens here. 
Yeah, next is the storage for captures and for record schedules. Of course, you can pick the network type, yeah, and then draw however you want. So this is how it happens. And saving, yeah. Storage management, of course, the HDD, well, either it's a computer, either it's the network recorder. Yeah, and now the VSA rules, intention analysis and other stuff about this. Calibration, this is what you gotta do before, of course. Shield region, rules, and advanced, and the temperature measurements. Um, so you can take like, you see, you see the settings. Yeah, so this was the most basic, and of course I showed you the whole menu. Now let's get to the camera's exact specifications. So the specifications set here as follows. Running a full HD resolution, our mainstream record goes in a 9020 by 1080 60 gigahertz 30 frames per second at max in a light environment. After we switch to a thermal vision, we get a 320 by uh, 240 output resolution. As mentioned in the beginning, it is a two cameras in one body here. Classical one along with the infrared sensor and the separate thermal module uh, in addition. Such awesome mode as a bispectrum image fusion picture in picture is available here, allowing us to see a video combined out of two video modes on a one screen. And this is a really cool feature. The infrared sensor in the optical mode is auto adjustable and delivers a good view on a distance up to a 30 meters at night. Along with that, the view angle is 53 for optical and 25 for the thermal. Of course, we have smart functions here, such as line crossing, intrusion detection, the region entrance and the region exiting, powered by a built-in GPU that supports intelligent behavior analysis algorithm. We also have here a microphone, of course, built-in IP66 standard type body, where the walking working temperatures are from minus 40 Fahrenheit and 40 Celsius to 140 Fahrenheit and plus 60 Celsius. We have here two alarm inputs and outputs. And we have an SD card support up to 128 gigabytes. There's honestly a two times more functions to tell you, but that will make this video two times longer. And that is why the full data sheet is located in the description by the official link. Now let's summarize the stuff about this camera. To summarize, this Hikvision DS-2TD2617-3-6 volt one bullet camera is a real killing machine among network cameras of this class. But the question is, do you need it? Do I need it? No. Does that guy need it? Well, maybe. We don't need such functions and why would we pay for the things that we don't need? This is exactly that product. It has its unique and very, very, very narrow audience. And yet, it has its audience. For me, it is quite an unusual and interesting equipment, and I hope it's the same for you too. But let's leave this technological monster to the ones who really need it. I was Daniel from the People System Store, where we care about your safety and where you can get any desired equipment, surveillance, smart home. Anything was in a special offer if you specify that you came ordering from me, from YouTube, from Daniel. Anyways, thank you for watching.